Well, hey kids, and welcome to another episode of Virtual Sunday School. I'm so glad you can make it because I have a very exciting story to share with you. So this week we're gonna be learning about something very important that happened in the Bible. If you remember last week, we learned about creation, right? That God created the whole earth and he created animals and humans and all the plant life we see around us and the moon and the stars, right? So this week is kind of gonna be about animals, which is why I am joined here by my monkey friends and they're gonna help me tell this story. So you may have heard about a man named Noah in the Bible. And when you think of Noah, you probably think of Noah's Ark, right? So I wanted to talk to you guys today about Noah's Ark. Now what's Noah's Ark all about anyways? Well, you might know that there was a big flood involved and there were animals, but why did all of that happen in the first place? So something bad kind of had to happen first because God was not very happy with the people on earth during this time. He was really sad because nobody loved him. Remember, God created all the people, but no one wanted to follow God. No one wanted to listen to him. They didn't love him. They wanted to disobey him, and they were sinning against him, right? So what did God decide to do? He saw that Noah was on earth, and Noah was a great guy, okay? He obeyed God. He loved God. He did everything God asked him to do, including making a giant boat. Now, we've probably never even seen a boat this big before. That's why it's called an ark. It was so big because it had to hold all the animals. Now, God said only the humans or the people on earth were making him sad, but not the animals. Did you do something to make God sad? No. Did you do something to make God sad, Harambe? No. They didn't do anything, they were innocent. So God didn't want to kill all the animals too. He just wanted to get rid of all the people on earth. So he told Noah, this is very important. I want you to make the biggest boat called an ark that you could ever build in your whole life. And it might take some time to build. And then I want you to gather all the animals. Now, God had some very specific instructions for Noah. He made sure to tell Noah, you can't just like gather any animals you want. We can't, we kind of can't save all of them because there's too many. But what he wanted to do is he told Moses, gather all the mommy and daddy animals. That means if there's a mommy animal, wait, let me show you because I have two bears, okay? I had two monkeys and I have two bears. So we need a daddy bear and a mommy bear. They needed to go together on the ark so that, why do you think? They can make baby bears, right? So when you make baby bears, then there's more baby bears. And the same goes with the leopard. There was two leopards. So Sarah says she doesn't have two leopards. She only has one today. So just imagine there were two leopards and the mommy leopard and the baby leopard. They had to get on the boat. And what else? A moose? Whoa! Mommy Moose and Daddy Moose also had to get on the boat. So they had to, um, I had a tiger, but he fell on the floor. So anyways, you get the idea. There were all the animals that you see today. If you go to the zoo or somewhere like a farm and you see all the animals, just think, those animals are there because they made it onto Noah's Ark. There was the mommy and the daddy that came onto Noah's Ark, and that's why they were saved. Saved from what, you might ask? Well, remember how earlier 
I said that um, God asked Noah to make the build ark, to make the ark to save all the animals. Well, he wanted to save the animals, but he didn't save the people. So what he did was made a huge flood. Now what's a flood? So you know when sometimes you go outside and it's raining? Well, this time when God said there was gonna be a flood, it was raining and raining and raining and raining. Imagine if you wake up in the morning and it was raining in the morning and then you go to sleep, it's still raining and then it's almost a month later and it never stopped raining. That's how long it rained for. So you can imagine if it rained for that many days, 40 days and 40 nights to be exact, the whole earth was filled with water. And the water didn't have anywhere to go because it kept raining and raining. So the whole flood or all of that rain caused all the people to go away. But remember, all the animals were saved in the ark. Also, God asked Noah to make sure to save his family too. So Noah's wife was there and his three sons actually too, they were there and their wives so that they can make a family together. So God saved Noah's family. And I wanna tell you something really important that happened after that, okay? So God told Noah, he said, after the flood was over and it's been 40 days and they had to stay in the, in the ark for a little bit longer so everything could dry up. But when it was safe to go outside, God told Noah and his family, listen, I'm gonna make a promise with you. You know what that promise was? It was called a covenant. That means it was a very special promise and a special promise from God. And what did he tell Noah? He said, when you look outside and you see a rainbow, that is a part of my promise to you, Noah, and to all the people that see a rainbow. What does it mean though, you ask? So a rainbow was the covenant or the special promise that God made to us. And he said he's never going to destroy the earth or get rid of all the people on earth because of a flood or lots and lots and lots of water. And that's exactly what God said to Moses. So Moses was like, wow, after so much destruction and all the people went away, that was must have been a pretty beautiful rainbow. So the next time you go outside and you notice that a rainbow mostly only shows up only after it rains, right? Otherwise you don't really see rainbows a lot. But after the rain, there's a rainbow. And every time you see that now, I hope you remember this story because you can remember, hey, that's the sign that God gave us as a covenant or a special promise. That means he will never destroy the earth by a flood again. Did you guys like that story? I hope you liked it. And I hope everybody sent in their memory verses. And we're so excited. All of us are gonna watch your videos and we're gonna be so happy because we miss you guys and we love you very much. We hope everybody's staying safe and healthy and everyone's learning the memory verse and praying to God every day and telling Jesus how much you love him, okay? Because we love you too. And everybody says bye before you go. And we love you very much. And I'll see you guys next week.